The traction control system is a system which ensures smooth and stable driving when starting off or cornering on slippery roads. The TRC, or traction control system, controls engine torque and braking of the driving wheels, preventing the driving wheels from spinning, something which tends to occur when starting or during acceleration. This helps maintain an ideal driving force in accordance with road surface conditions. In this video, we will be studying the components and operation of the traction control system which is used in the Lexus LS400. And we will also be examining self-diagnosis, key service points, and troubleshooting. The same components are used in the traction control system as in the ABS, or anti-lock brake system. First, we will go through a simple review of the ABS that is used on the Lexus LS400. As you know already, the ABS is a brake control system which helps to control panic braking on slippery road surfaces. Let's examine the components of the ABS. You will recall that the wheel speed sensors, the ABS actuator, and the ABS ECU are the major components. Also included are the stoplight switch and the parking brake switch and the ABS warning light in the combination meter. First, let's look at the wheel speed sensors. There is a wheel speed sensor for each wheel and this transmits the wheel speed signal to the ABS ECU. Next, the ABS actuator. The ABS actuator is located in the front right-hand side of the engine compartment. Let's examine the ABS in operation. Based on the wheel speed signal sent from each wheel, the ABS ECU monitors the difference between the vehicle speed and the speed of each wheel and controls the pressure of each wheel's hydraulic brakes by operating the actuator accordingly. You will remember that there are three modes in the operation of the ABS actuator's three-position solenoid valve. When current is not supplied from the ECU, it goes into the pressure increase mode. With a current of two amperes, it goes into the pressure holding mode. And when the current is 5 amperes, it goes into the pressure reduction mode. The ABS actuator carries out accurate control of the wheel speed by constantly repeating these three modes. right and left front brakes are controlled separately. But the right and left rear brakes are controlled simultaneously. And this brings us to the end of the operation of the ABS. There are two types of ABS actuators for the Lexus LS400. There is the actuator for vehicles with TRC and the actuator for those without out. Vehicles without TRC have three three-position solenoid valves, while vehicles with TRC have four. In the case of vehicles with TRC, although the right and left rear brake lines are separate, when the ABS operates, both the right and left rear brakes are controlled simultaneously, as in vehicles without TRC.
component in operation. In order to prevent the driving wheels from spinning, a common occurrence during starting off or cornering on slippery road surfaces, the traction control system controls both engine torque and the braking of the driving wheels. We will first begin by explaining the components of the TRC system. The TRC system consists of the following components added to the ABS system. These can be broadly divided into four groups. ECUs and relays, sensors, actuators, control switch and indicator lights. First, the ECUs and relays. The TRC ECU is installed under the glove compartment at the right-hand side of the engine and transmission ECU and forms a single unit together with the ABS ECU. The three relays that are used are the TRC brake main relay, the TRC motor relay, and the TRC throttle relay. Next, the sensors. These are the wheel speed sensors and the main and sub-throttle position sensors. Also, the brake fluid level warning switch, the neutral start switch, and the stoplight switch are used. Let's now examine the actuators. The actuators can be divided into two groups. The first group controls engine torque, while the other is for carrying out braking. Firstly, let's look at the sub-throttle actuator, which controls the engine torque. The sub-throttle actuator is attached to the throttle body to which is connected the sub-throttle valve. A stepper motor is used in the sub-throttle actuator. Even when the driver opens the main throttle valve by stepping on the accelerator pedal, the actuator closes the sub-throttle valve to reduce the engine torque as soon as a rear wheel starts spinning. In order to carry out this kind of control quickly, two throttle position sensors are constantly monitoring the opening angles of the throttle valves, and this information is transmitted to the ABS and TRC ECU via the engine and transmission ECU. The TRC pump and accumulator and the TRC brake actuator do the actual braking. The TRC pump generates hydraulic pressure even when the brake pedal is not depressed. It is located near the brake master cylinder. The brake fluid, which is pressurized by the TRC pump, is stored in the accumulator and this pressurized brake fluid is sent to the TRC brake actuator via the brake pipe. The pressure switch attached to the TRC brake actuator detects the pressure inside the accumulator. When the pressure falls, this switch turns on, causing the TRC pump to operate, thus raising the pressure. The TRC brake actuator is located beside the ABS actuator. Three solenoid valves are built into this actuator. 
Let's see this in operation. This is the hydraulic circuitry. The TRC brake actuator is located between the master cylinder and the rear brake circuit of the ABS actuator. Now let's look at its operation in one of the rear wheels. Normally, current is not supplied to the three valves inside the TRC actuator, so each valve looks like this. During normal braking, the fluid pressure from the master cylinder acts on the wheel cylinder via the master cylinder cutoff solenoid valve and the ABS actuator. This is how it returns when the brake pedal is released. This is normal brake operation. Now if the rear wheel starts to spin when the vehicle begins to move, current is supplied by the ABS and TRC ECU to the three solenoid valves in the actuator, causing the valves to move. The master cylinder cutoff solenoid valve closes, cutting off the hydraulic circuit from the master cylinder. The accumulator cutoff solenoid valve opens and the hydraulic pressure inside the accumulator is transmitted to the rear brakes via the ABS actuator. By the repetition of pressure increase, pressure holding, and pressure reduction modes, which we discussed before, the ABS actuator controls the braking pressure. This prevents the wheels from spinning and at the same time ensures that an appropriate drive force can be achieved. The return fluid from the rear brakes passes through the reservoir cutoff solenoid valve and returns to the master cylinder reservoir. What we have just seen is the operation of the TRC for just one wheel. In reality, of course, the right and left rear brakes are both controlled by the TRC. However, they are controlled independently through the two rear three-position solenoid valves in the ABS actuator. Next, let's see the switch and indicator lights. When only the rear wheels are rotated on a chassis dynamo, for example, you should make sure that the TRC system is turned off by means of the TRC cutoff switch located on the center console above the ashtray. When the TRC system is turned off, the TRC off indicator light in the combination meter turns on. The TRC off indicator light also lights up when a malfunction occurs in the electronic engine control system or in the ABS system, indicating that the TRC system is now inoperative. There is one more TRC indicator light in the combination meter. This light blinks during TRC operation and indicates to the driver that it is functioning. Also, when a malfunction occurs in the TRC system, it lights up and stays on, indicating to the driver that there is a malfunction. Self-diagnosis. The ABS and TRC ECU has an initial check function and a self-diagnostic function. With the initial check function, every time the ignition switch is turned on, the following take place. The ECU closes the subthrottle valve, then opens it, thus checking the electrical circuitry. With the self-diagnostic function, the ABS and TRC ECU constantly checks the electric circuitry, and when a malfunction is detected by the ECU, the ECU lights up the TRC indicator light to alert the driver. Let's try this out. When the ignition switch is turned on, the TRC indicator lights up and turns off after about three seconds if the system is normal. 
However, if there are any malfunctions, it remains lit. To find out the nature of the malfunction, the TDCL on the instrument lower panel or the check connector in the engine compartment is used. Connect terminals TC and E1 and see whether the light blinks. Code 24 is now being displayed. There is a total of 26 codes registered in the TRC diagnostic system from code 11 to code 56. Code 24 means an open or short circuit in the subthrottle actuator circuit. So let's look at the subthrottle actuator. As you can see, the connector was disconnected.